Assalamualaikum. Today we're going to explain to you about commercial law which is intention to create legal relation. Represented by IY Masara bin Idris IDA 2007088, Abdul Fatah bin Ya IDA 2007004 and Muhammad Afi bin Muhammad Rahimi IDA 2007082. Law of contract definition parties to the agreement are ready to face circumstances if fails to perform obligation under the agreement categories of intention family arrangements and business negotiation family arrangements first arrangements without intention to create legal relation second however the rule can be denied third If there is proof to show intention, the agreement is enforceable. Business negotiation definition: Parties to agreement are supposed to have intention to create legal relation. However, the rule can be denied. I'm gonna meet Peter at his room. I hope he's gonna accept the contract. Hello, Peter. It's nice to meet you today. Hey, Robert. I'm glad to meet you too. I am from Rose and Frank Corporation. I want you to enter a contract for the sale and purchase of tissue paper at a certain price between Rose and Frank Corporation and Crompton and Brothers Limited. Yes, Robert. Let's we enter into the contract for the sale and purchase of tissue paper at a certain price. Deal. Back then, Mr. Siafik and Mrs. Nasuha were married, and they built a house where it was agreeably to put in joint names between them. For our house, I want us to sign a document that this house will be under two names. It will be me, Siafik, and you, Nasuha. Both of our name will be registered for our house. What will the document be about? When one of us didn't pay the house and gain benefit from it, meanwhile the other fully pay the house on their own, then the house shall be the one who pays it. Do you agree with this? I am agree with this. Okay then, I will sign the contract, Shafiq. I hope one of us will remember this document and never breach it. One day, Mr. Shafiq left Mrs. Nasuha for another woman. So Mrs. Nasuha asked her husband to change the house joint name to hers. Hey Shafiq, since you left me to live with another woman, what about give me full authority towards this house? Why would I do that? It is because since your leave, you never pay the house as we usually do. Now, I'm the one who pay all of this house payment. So, I should have the full authority upon this house. No, I don't want to do that. Then, we will meet at court. Mrs. Nasuha bring the case to the court. She want to bring justice upon her statement and her husband wrongdoing. Mrs. Nasuha, would you tell me what has happened? My husband and I have agreed to sign on a document which contains if any of us failed to pay and receive the benefit from it meanwhile the other fully pay the house on their own then the house shall be the one who pay in this case I am the one who fully pay the house in my own meanwhile my husband didn't pay any and receive benefit from it so I asked him to legally change document to fully authorized under my name but he won't do that it is true what has your wife tell me Mr Syafiq yes she said the truth But I don't want to give full authorization of house to her because I'm her husband. Your doings are wrong as it is breach the document you have signed before, Mr. Syafiq. Hence, the house shall be given fully to Mrs. Nasuha as per document both of you signed. Finally, my hard work pays off. I got the house.